Right, next up in our series on how to get a grade 9 in Maths GCC, here is a tricky rearrangement that one of my students sent to me to have a video on. So we've got to make y the subject of 8 over x equals 3 over y minus 7 z over z. So in general, we've only got the y in one place, so we try and get the y on its own. So I'm going to add the 7 over z to the other side. So what I'll get is I'm going to get 8 over x plus 7 over z equals 3 over y. Now there's a nice neat little trick here is we could reciprocate this to get the y on the top uh, or we could times for everything from by y and then divide by all the rest but even that is going to be nasty with this as it is so what we need to do is turn this into a single fraction first before we do all of that um, and then we can go about doing the other two things. So to turn this into a single fraction we need to work out the common denominator. We've got this over x and this over z. So a common denominator would be something they both go into. So they both go into x and z. So times top and bottom this by z, we get 8z over xz. Times top and this by x, we get 7x over xz again. And we've got our common denominator. So that, add these together, we get 8z plus 7x all over x. Z, and that equals 3 over y. And now we can just reciprocate this side because it's a single fraction and reciprocate this side because it's a single fraction. So I'm going to do that up here to keep it all on one screen. So reciprocate this side, I get xz over 8z plus 7x. And on this side, if I do the same, remember we've got to do the same to both sides, I get y over 3. So all I need to do now is times throughout by 3. So I get 3 xz times in this by 3 over 8z plus 7x and a common mistake is to times the bottom by 3 as well then you're not changing it so to change this you have to times the top by 3 and if we times this by 3 then the 3 is cancelled just to leave us y so therefore y will equal 3xz over 8z plus 7 x as our final answer. Now another way we could have done it um, back at this stage is we could have multiplied throughout by y and divide by this fraction. If we're dividing by this fraction it's just the same as times you by the reciprocal. So we just times by this and you'd end up with exactly the same result if you did it that way. So either way is perfectly okay to get our answer.